Day three of practice for Greg Popovich and Team USA. FIBA World Cup tips late August in China, but with an ever-changing roster and no clearly defined star player. Yeah, you got Kemba Walker, but beyond that, what? A lot of question marks for Team USA in the dozen roster spots. As for Pop, he was feeling kind of nostalgic on this Wednesday. The thing that I've always wanted to do is be on the Olympic team and play. Mm -hmm. That was always my dream. And I got cut in 72. So uh, that, that was a dream. But you don't sit down and say, I'm going to coach, I'd love to coach the Olympic team one day. But when asked, you, you don't refuse. I've never been too concerned what you know, people might say. I, I've never read an article on any of our five championships yet. I haven't even read one. I mean, what, what good does that do? So whether it's a, a, an applause or somebody saying, you know, that I'm an idiot or whatever, I could, I could care less either one. They're both fake notions to me. They really are. A lot more important things. What kind of wine to order for dinner? You know, what are your kids doing? You know, that kind of stuff. Well, I assume it's a thousand degrees. I hope the grasshopper plague has left us, but we do find our friend Brian Windhorst there in Vegas. And I love Lucy Goosey Pop. I love when Pop shows us the side that people that truly know him say is who he really is. What is the sense you have of how Pop feels about what he has and what he doesn't have with this group? You know, he's been in a really good mood um, all week. Uh, he's been around a lot of his fellow coaches. He was with Mike Krzyzewski today and was talking to him a lot. Um, you know, he has Steve Kerr here. Um, this is something, look, Scott, he's had a, a checkered history with USA basketball, okay? Now, right. he didn't make the team in 72 and, you know, got drunk. But in, <laughs> in 2002, they were on a team that finished in sixth place in the World Championship. He was on that staff. Then 2004, he was on Larry Brown's staff. And then we all remember they got the bronze in Athens. So this wasn't a guy who I thought would be running to get back to this. You know, his, his most important player ever, Tim Duncan, basically threw his hands up and said, I can't take playing for USA basketball because they call fouls on me. So I was kind of surprised he even took this job. And so to be in the situation where he is in now, where he's got a team that, frankly, is one of the weaker Team USAs we've seen in the last 15 or 20 years, um, I'm glad he's got good humor because this is a tough job he's got. I agree. And I, the thing I was really most interested in to talk to you about today was the idea of identifying who the guy will be and, and how that happens. How does that sort of organically develop? And I'm not expecting you or, or Pop or anybody else to know the answer now. But what's the sense of how that progresses and who becomes the guy? Yeah, well, I will say this. Um, Donovan Mitchell has looked really good here. Um, and he is in this spot where you're a second-year player going to your third year where we've seen players throughout NBA history make a giant leap. Another guy who has impressed people who have been able to watch all the practices has been Jason Tatum. He shot the ball really well. But, Scott, the star of this team is Greg Popovich. And I know that that sounds strange, and he's even uncomfortable probably hearing that. But because they don't have superstars on this team, they're going to have to rely on the system. And if you've watched them scrimmage the last three days like I have, they are focusing on teaching a system. They are not building around a star. And when the system is the most important thing, it's on the coach. So Greg Popovich is going in with you know a pretty big weight on his shoulders. He's going to have to really carry this team, and he's going to have to uphold the fact that this team hasn't lost in 13 years. Well, uh, I mean, Pop's wired for this kind of thing, and he's diffusing it with humor. Wait, he's the, you, you, you think he's going to zig, he zags. That's the beauty of Pop. He's always got a card in the deck you're not ready for. But I appreciate the time, Brian. Be well. We'll talk again soon, all right? Thanks, Scott. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.